Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal and private reading with me on my website at psychicbellalove.com. Use coupon code YouTube, all in caps, to get $10 off. All the readings on the site have been discounted already for the summer. So this is the last month to get an already on sale reading plus an extra $10 off. You can also add energy healings and extra time to any appointment as well as um, I do have skip the line emergency appointments available too. The coupon code doesn't work for those, but if you don't want to wait for my schedule to be open, um, then you can book one of those to get squeezed in within 24 hours. So, it, and then also I never, ever, 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 ever take video requests on YouTube, but you can join my Patreon for that option. And you can also follow me on Instagram. All of that information will be linked in the description box below. So I wanted to take a look and see, are we ever getting Dawn dead? <laughs> Because we all know how Kanye be. We still, didn't he never release Yandy? Was that the one? I know he had some album that was going to come out and then he never released it. And he made a big old deal about it. I think it was Yandy. So let's see what this one. Spirit, please join us and answer any questions regarding Kanye West dropping new music. Thank you, Spirit. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding not with any bad intention, just so that we know the truth. Thank you, Spirit, for joining us. Please bless and protect all who we ask about in this reading, as well as all who listen and participate. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. So, Spirit. Will we ever get the Donda album from Kanye? Thank you. So the underlying energy, we have the Palace of Cups, the Ten of Coins, and the Ten of Wands. This really is like a really deep passion project for Kanye. It's him honoring his mom, his ancestors, God. That's the way that he is looking at this. And he's actually put a lot of his own money into this. You know, I mean, obviously we know that he was renting out the whole like Mercedes-Benz Stadium for what was it, like a million dollars a night or something? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it, he's continuing to work on it. He really is in the state of, I want perfection. So it, it's this is a really deep album for him. He feels like it's the culmination of his life story and his life's work. Again, honoring his mom. And so he just is in this place where he is not going to accept anything less than what he feels is the absolute most like perfect version of the album. And he's, there's something about like, there's one song that he just feels like he can't get right. And that's what's holding everything up, but he doesn't want to trash the song either. So uh, this is the thing though, I feel like this album is gonna cost Kanye money. Even though like so far everybody was like, he made $7 million on merch and listening tickets and this and that, but he's paying so much to record all of this and to put it out and to do it the way that he wants to, that it is going to end up bleeding money. So just to be aware of that. Also, Kanye, Kanye wants more kids. <laughs> he feels that God has spoken to him and told him that he's not done having children. So he knows that obviously, you know, Kem has said very recently in a whole bunch of, um, interviews and stuff that four is her limit she doesn't want any more she's done she's good and I don't feel like Kim would want any more kids um but Kanye definitely does and 
there was some sort of talk before they split up about possibly having another kid is what's showing up in the cards however he felt like Kim was lying to him and misleading him promising him that because we have the seven of cups after the queen of cups and the six of cups talking about there was a promise made that wasn't fulfilled or a discussion that was happening that made him think that they were going to have more kids so it, Kanye is kind of on a mission to find the next mother of his children because he wants his kids all with him to have that happy family that he thought he was getting that he didn't have yet. And what Spirit is saying is working on this album and being so in touch with his mom's spirit really made him value family more than maybe he had in the past. Not that he's never valued family, but it's just reminded him of like, it was just basically me and my mom growing up and I don't want that for my kids. Now I always thought my, saw myself as having a wife and kids and I had it for a little bit and I loved it and I want more of that. So it's not that he wants to go back to Kim. He just wants to have more kids and have like a wife or a family unit. So for whatever reason that has gotten brought up strong in him right now. And that's something that he's really starting to think about, like, who am I going to settle down with and do that with? I don't see him rushing to do it. It's just something that he knows that he still wants. It's just, that's a dream that was put into his heart after doing all of this. So, Spirit, are we ever going to get this album out of him? Yes or no? Thank you. And why is it taking so long? Other than the perfectionism part. <laughs> Just what I thought. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so also part of the reason, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that he um, had to or has, you know, kind of put things off or put so much perfectionism into everything he sees drake as competition and so it's like okay if we were to release around each other at the same time i'm not gonna let you be everybody calling you out saying you had the best album i need to have the best album He really thinks that Kanye, um, or not, Drake, Kanye really thinks Drake and Kim hooked up. He really, really, really does. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. So, uh, Kanye feels like you hooked up with my wife, whether it was while they were married or afterwards, he's not sure. But he really does think that Kim and um, Drake have hooked up. Um, so he sees him again as that competition. And he is trying his hardest to make sure that everything is perfect. Because when he drops, he knows Drake is going to drop around the same time as him. And he basically wants to win. So... And that's the way that Kanye is looking at it too. So he is holding on to things, trying to make it as perfect as possible so that he can compete with Drake when it comes to dropping. And we've got the Emperor, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Cups is this underlying energy talking about how he feels that Drake is manipulated and put himself in between Kim and Kanye's marriage. There's some communication that was happening between Drake and Kim that Kanye found out about. And he really feels like Drake was in Kim's ear being like, you need to leave him and like telling him stuff. So this feud is far from over between the two of them. Which I always say this, listen, Kanye, we might be like, oh, Kanye was never a gangster and he wasn't this and he wasn't that. I honestly feel like if Kanye and Drake were to get in a fight, Kanye is going to be one of those people that you're like, oh, he's the arty, nerdy kid. Like, he would never do something. And then you're just like, everybody get Kanye off of 
Drake. And Drake's on the ground like, stop him, stop him. And Kanye's just boom, boom. <laughs> So you never know. Sometimes the little, the little quiet or the little nerdy ones or the friendly ones that nobody expects will be the ones that'll come out of nowhere and beat the crap out of you. <laughs> so, which honestly, I mean, you know what? I know everybody was all, oh, Jake Paul versus Austin McBroom or whatever, you know, all the YouTuber TikTok boxing matches and whatnot. I would pay good money to see Drake and Kanye have a boxing match. I would literally pay-per-view that shit and have a live streaming party and have people at my house. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just think that that would be amazing and entertaining. <laughs> I'm a Libra, we be petty sometimes. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Kanye's still gonna make money off of the album and still gonna do good. It's just, you know, Kanye's mom popped in and wanted to clear that up. She's like, you need to let them know my baby's music's still going to do good. It's just the losing the money part over it is because, you know, obviously, if you're paying millions of dollars to record and stay somewhere, then that $7 million that you made off of ticket sales and merch and stuff is only going to cover, what, a week of that? So he is going to put so much money into it, but he doesn't care because he's making so much money off of his clothing. He's more just about, I want to put out a badass album and be Drake. So that is what is going on in the mind of Kanye right now. And let me just ask real quick. Just want to see if this feud ever will be over. Grab this deck. Please answer. Will Drake and Kanye ever make up? Thank you. You guys notice how Drake like always falls in and out with people that he's cool with. Like him and Nikki have gone into it so many times and not talked. Don't forget Drake fucked Lil Wayne's girlfriend when Lil Wayne was in uh, Rikers. Like, he always be doing sneak shit and, like, getting into it with everybody that was, like, a brother to him or they were so close or you were my big brother, my dad, you gave me such an amazing start or you helped me out so much in my career and everything. And then he always ends up falling out with people close to him in the industry. Little Meg the Stallion-ish. And this is the thing, like the underlying energy here is at the end of the day, Kanye and Drake both really did used to like love each other. Like there was a familial kind of a love there and they felt like they worked great together. You know, we have the same kind of interests in everything. We're good, but obviously, you know, it's the people that you care the most about will hurt you the most when you fall out, right? And so that's why usually if people have these kind of crazy ass grudges they're holding on to for a long time, it's usually because there was some kind of other connection that was going on before that. And so that's where, you know, that's why things are so hard for them and why they've taken this so completely seriously. Um, See, this is the funny thing is that at some point they'll talk, they'll make up, everything will seem like it's cool, but then Drake's going to throw shots at Kanye in a song and they're going to be right back at that feud all over again because Drake can't help himself. So, Jesus Christ, Drake, what the hell is wrong with you? Stop picking fights with people. He is way too emotional <laughs> and he holds grudges just like a typical water sign can do especially a Scorpio Scorpios will hold grudges forever <laughs> so they'll do the same thing that Nikki and Drake do fall out get back together fall out again you know just wanted to check there but I think after the next time they fall out spirit saying that Kanye won't be so quick to ever try to make up with him again because he's just gonna be like it's who you are I'm good I don't want your drama Drake so anyways guys I love you so much 
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. I will see you again soon. And in the meantime, you can always subscribe to my Patreon where I upload daily content that is completely exclusive and never posted on YouTube or go to my website to book your own personal private appointment with me and follow me on Instagram. Of course, all of that will be linked down below. And as always, everything on this channel is all alleged for entertainment purposes only, but y'all know I'm accurate as shit.